The sun had just set when I arrived to Kiwanis Park here in Tempe, Arizona, in the middle of the hustling, bustling metropolitan area, a place with a lake, with little green rolling hills and trees sprinkled throughout. As I parked my vehicle and got my longboard out, which is a little bit longer than the skateboard, and as I put it on the, on the pavement and began skating through the parking lot, I felt a weight, not just on my shoulders, but within my heart. I was feeling doubt, self-questioning, feeling disconnected, and I knew exactly what I needed. I needed to go back to the land to where I was born and raised, up in Northern Arizona on the Navajo Reservation, a place where I was raised by my grandparents, where they taught me how to work with my hands, the value of hard work in every context, and they showered me with stories every day, stories of our family, stories of the land, stories of the culture. My favorite thing to do growing up was climbing our mountain. We have a mountain called Nithlodozi, the mountain with the streaks on it. And if you climb to the top of that mountain and you look to the west, you can see the San Francisco peaks. You turn, you look to the north, you can see the mesas of the Hopi. And if you look to the south, you can see the little painted desert in its beautiful, majestic landscape. Growing up on the reservation, I also learned what hard work really is, what communal work is. You see, we still don't have running water to this day, and hauling water was a daily chore. But it wasn't divvied to just anybody. It was for everyone. And so whoever was able, they jumped in and they helped with that labor. If something needed to be repaired, we helped with that. If something needed to be built, we helped with that. The sense of community and love, constant. But I couldn't go back. Because this was the time of masking, the time of social distancing, the time of literal lockdowns on the Navajo reservation, the Navajo Nation police blocked off the roads at all entry points and did not allow anybody off the reservation onto the reservation. And we were very disconnected. And me, just like everyone else who was off the reservation, tried to call home. And I remember calling home one time for three hours straight and hitting a busy signal nonstop. And finally, I was able to get through. And once I got through, I put my phone on speaker. My wife, my son gathered around just to hear the voices of family. We asked them how they were doing with water. We asked them how they were doing with food. And then they gave us updates on here's how many people have tested positive so far on Navajo. And then they would move into the sad part. Here's how many people we lost today to COVID. I looked over at my wife and no words need to be said. The sense of disconnect, the sense of longing, she felt that growing up on the Navajo reservation as well, away from her community, away from her family. But if I'm being honest, even if I could go back, it still wouldn't be the same. You see, a year before the pandemic, I lost my grandfather, my Che. A Che is more than just a grandfather. He's the human library. He is that spiritual guide to let you know how to find light, but more intimately, he was my hero. He was my role model. In feeling the weight of the pandemic on me and feeling the loss, all of these emotions flooded over my body. And as I kicked and skated through the parking lot and I hit the sidewalk, I began looking around. Now, as I looked up, I saw the parting in the trees and beyond the trees, I saw the moon. It was beautiful and vibrant, luminescent, blanketing the trees, reflecting on the grass, shimmering along the lake. And as I looked past the moon, I looked a little to the right, I found a star, a star that everybody knows as the North Star. But we know that as Nyquist in Navajo. And I remember the story that my Che and my grandma shared with me, that that star was put there 
for the first star in the sky. They placed that there for us because that star symbolizes many things. It symbolizes family, it symbolizes love, and it symbolizes hope. And as I looked at that star, my eyes began getting a little watery. But as I took a breath and I let it out, I felt my shoulders not so heavy. I felt my heart not so heavy. The distance, not so far away now. And so what I decided to do was turn around, go back to my car and go home. Because when I got home, I talked to my wife and my son and I said, hey, we're going skating right now. My wife, she grabbed her roller skates. My son, he grabbed his long board and the three of us went outside. Once we hit the sidewalk, we began skating. And as we're moving, we got tired and we settled down a little bit. And I told him, look up, look up at the sky, how beautiful it is. Look at the moon and how wonderful it is right now. Look at the moonlight drape across the sidewalk onto the street. But also look a little to the right. Look at that bright star there. That's the North Star. And I told my wife and my son, that's also Nyquist. And that was put there for a reason, to remind us that the three of us are family, that the three of us have love. And wherever we see that star, we will always have hope. Thank you.